Hey guys, if you are stuck and you're trying to figure out how to install the Shopify CLI for whatever system you're on, I'm going to show you guys how to do this super quick and super easy in this video. Okay. So most of you guys have seen this from Shopify Unite where they announced, Hey, there's a new Shopify CLI. Go try it out. Better ways to create your themes. You got Dawn. You also have better ways to create your applications. Okay. And you're super excited to go and try this out. Well, there's a lot of issues. Okay. <laughs> and it really comes down to whatever system you're in. If you're on Mac, it runs perfectly like always. Right. Uh, but if you're on windows or even on some type of Linux system, Hey, you might be missing some dependencies and we're going to get into this. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to say is you can always check out the documentation of Shopify search Shopify CLI installation on Google is going to bring you up to this page. Okay. Now, first of all, we're going to start with Mac OS. It's very simple to do this. All you really need to do is install uh brew tap Shopify, all right? Shopify brew install Shopify CLI. And that's it. Now, if you have already Ruby installed right on your Mac, most likely you will. Uh, you can just install the Shopify CLI through the gems directly. Okay. So you could do it like this and you could check the version of it by doing Shopify version. Now that's simple. That's how easy it is on a Mac. Now let's get into working with either Linux or even Windows 10. Okay. Mostly for Windows 10, this is the number one problem that you're going to bump into. And it really comes down to uh, the dependencies that the Windows 10 Linux subsystem, whatever you might call it, you know, it's missing a lot of dependencies, things that um, Mac it already has some some versions of Linux, Ubuntu it already has. But on the version that you go and download for like, let's say Windows, let's say you come in here and you're using uh, the Linux terminal on something like this, right? If you're using this <laughs> WSL, either one or two, you're most likely missing some dependencies. So what you need to do is right. Cause this, <laughs> this, uh, instructions here are pretty much useless because you're never going to be able to install this without this dependencies period. And I'm going to show you guys right now exactly what you need to do. Okay. So first of all, on your terminal, you want to go and run sudo apt update, sudo apt get update, sudo apt install Node.js. You need Node.js for this to actually work for a lot of things, especially if you're building uh, some Shopify applications. Okay, uh, sudo apt install Ruby full. This is going to install Ruby inside of your Linux subsystem. Okay, to be able to do any type of gem installs or anything, you're gonna have to install. Uh, Ruby, the programming language. Then from there, you're going to have to do uh, sudo apt get install build essential. And basically, you're going to have to go in and install a whole bunch of dependencies. Okay. There's other things that are not coming with uh, the Linux system for Windows. So you're going to have to install Bison, OpenSSL, curl, git core, Silib, uh, Silib dev. Uh, lib SSL dev, lib YAML, lib XML, autoconf, a whole bunch of other ones. Right? <laughs> I don't know what to just call it. Little Billy's dev, something simple. And curses dev, automate, lift tool. Okay, you're going to have to add those things. And then once you add those dependencies, then you can actually go in and install sudo gem install Shopify CLI. Okay. That's the only way you're going to be able to do this. Now, of course, all of this, you're going to be running in, in your terminal, in your Linux terminal. So this is going to work for windows 10, the Linux subsystem, and it's also going to work for Ubuntu. So if you have Ubuntu or, or some type of Linux Debian, like you're going to have to run this commands regardless. Okay. Cause it's not going to work if you don't run these things. Okay. So I'm going to leave it in the description below for those of you guys that need this uh commands so like that you could just install and get started i, I know <laughs> i actually spent so much time today on this thing trying to figure out like i got it running on um you know on ubuntu right i first got it running over here on ubuntu and i was like wait what's going on what's the difference between the version that is on ubuntu from the website 
you know, when you go into Ubuntu.com or whatever it is and you download that this image, what's the difference between that and the version that they have on the Windows application where you say, I want to download uh, Linux. Okay. Uh, let me see. Where is it? Sh uh, just to show you guys apps. Okay. There's an app store in here that they have. And from there, you can find the Linux version. <laughs> right once you download this thing right there's a big difference between this version and also to the version that they have here and also the version that is on the website so it's just dependencies okay that's the biggest versions and differences that you're gonna bump into and it's just a big problem I spent hours dealing with this whole thing uh, trying to figure it out I'm like okay I got it working on Ubuntu you know the real Ubuntu and then for whatever reason I couldn't get it to work here on Windows 10 the version that they had and then I had to go in and go line by line line by line find out which dependencies they're missing comparing both of them and then finally it got to this <laughs> so here you go guys I spent hours in this thing and I give it to you guys 100% for free. <laughs> all my work, all my hard work. Yeah, but I just want to make sure that some of you guys don't have to go through this hell. Okay. Um, and, you know, as you guys can see, this is the difference between a Windows user and a Mac user, right? In Windows, you got to know about the nitty gritty things about the operating system. And Mac is like, okay, brewing stole. Keep it going. Start coding. With Windows, you're going to have to go in there. <laughs> like using a Windows computer is like having a freaking Honda Civic. And you're like, yo, I'm trying to put this Honda Civic to race against a Ferrari. A Ferrari's Ferrari. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what an Apple computer is. An uh, Apple computer is a Ferrari. It's already pre-built to be maximum speed and just keep going, right? Honda Civic, you're going to have to put in the muffler. You're going to have to change the turbo, put Nas. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like you're going to have to go crazy with it. If you don't want to be doing that, get yourself a Mac, guys. I'm only doing this because literally just to provide you guys the service of, uh, you know, helping you guys out. And at least I want to know what you're going through. So that's why I created this video. Okay. And again, uh, if you want to learn Shopify development, guys, before I leave out of here, you got to check out codingface.com, guys. Okay. This is what we're doing right now. One of the main reasons why I'm installing CLI, uh, the new CLI is because we're basically going to add a whole bunch of different sections for Shopify development, especially for theme development. Even I myself as a theme developer, I'm changing a lot of my, uh, code for my projects and updating it to the new version of uh, you know, Shopify and their 2.0 that they have. Um, of course, everything that you learn from codingphase.com, even if it's on what we call legacy mode, right? The previous version of how to do things, all of that still works. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, having this new version is going to open doors. Okay. A lot of the companies that's hiring, they're not going to have on day one, you know, the new version. Nobody does that. Okay. They're probably most people are not going to uh, run the new version of Shopify for at least a year or two. Okay. There's too many themes and too many apps that's already uh, out there. People are not just going to go in and stop what they're doing and, you know, recreate everything from scratch. But if you are creating new themes and new apps, you probably want to go and look at, you know, um, Shopify 2.0 and, and the new things that they're adding to it. Okay. But again, here at codingphase.com, we keep you guys updated, you know, single price. You come in, you learn how to code. You start with 20 bucks, right? You learn everything about programming. If you want to go deeper into your career and you want to learn how to make money as a developer with Shopify theme development, Shopify app development, sign up for the year. Okay. I'm pretty sure if you look at the description, there's a 20% off. So take advantage. Okay. You know, it becomes a very affordable price for everybody and you get access to everything. Okay. You sign up right now. So you guys can see the industry constantly changes. You know, if you go to most places, what people like to do is like, Hey guys, uh, online 2.0 came out. You're going to have to buy my course again. No, nah, we don't do that. We just say, Hey man, we're going to provide a service for you. We're going to give you everything that you need. If the industry changes, the industry shifts a certain way, we're going to come in and also provide you with that. So whatever happens throughout the whole year, you are covered. 
Okay, so definitely go check it out, codingface.com, the best place to learn how to code. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. It's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingface.com. Peace.